Hi. So um, if you would have worked with topic modeling, I guess you would have come around a term known as LDA, which is latent digital allocation, which is in short an unsupervised way to do topic modeling. So you get a list of topics which have a list of words with certain probabilities which get maps to let's say topic zero, topic one, topic two, and so on. Now in my, when I was working in a company in Belong, um, I had a, I had an issue which I had faced uh, in which I had to predetermine the topics uh, for which I want. So let's say I want sports, I want news, I want cricket. Uh, sports news and food let's say i have i want these three topics as um my topics and uh when i had initially used lda so um i sort of like didn't have any control over the topics which are coming but i wanted some sort of control over the topics because i really wanted a sports topic to be there as the topic one a news topic to be there as a topic two and a food topic to be there as a topic three let's say so for this kind of problem, um, guided LDA is where it really kicked in and helped me solve my problem. A guided LDA is a semi-supervised model. So um, it helps you seed some words which you feel will be definitely present in a topic. And in short, because of those words, it checks in a document the other words which are sort of like coming together or coming closely with these words. And from that, it understands, okay, since this word is coming closely to this word, these both words would be similar. For example, um, if I talk about Narendra Modi, so Narendra Modi would be mostly occurring in politics. And apart from Narendra Modi, BJP will be a word which will be coming in politics as well. So if I seed Narendra Modi, I would definitely get BJP also in my topic. So that's what seeds are. So seeds are basically um, the initial words which you seed with a topic which you're very sure of, which can attract all the other words and basically bring them together into the topic. This is what guided LDA is. And I'm going to talk about in detail and in depth a lot more in my talk about this. And I would also talk about what a classic LDA is, give an example of that, give an example of guided LDA, measure how guided LDA is better than a classic LDA. And I would explain to you what my business use case was and how it was helpful for me and how others can leverage as well for their other business use cases. Okay, thanks a lot. I hope this talks get selected and I can't wait to see you guys all for my talk. Cheers.